this 2003 um, Chevrolet Avalanche with 270,000 kilometers on it occasionally goes into reduced power mode. A message will come up on the odometer display that says reduced engine power and it is significantly reduced. Uh, I've scanned it yesterday and there was a code P1125 uh, I believe it was which is an accelerator pedal correlation fault. Now I've driven it this morning well let's back up. Um, visually inspected the accelerator pedal and the, cable, the connections and looked at the uh, throttle actuator control module which is beside the brake booster it looks good the connections look good check the fuse that feeds it check the ground that feeds it uh, on the back of the left cylinder head and that seems good wiggle the harness while I was monitoring the accelerator pedal uh, values this accelerator pedal actually has three potentiometers on it only two of them are available in the snap-on data stream and only two are available on the Autel scanner as well. It's my understanding they uh, used a three potentiometer accelerator pedal for this year only, 2003. Next year, 2004, they went to a, a dual uh, potentiometer accelerator pedal. So this fault code, P1125, is a uh, correlation fault right there, P1125. It's a correlation fault between the accelerator pedal position sensors. According to the uh, all data information it says uh, less than one second. Uh, go back to this data recording that I have here and both accelerator pedals drop to 0 0.22 volts simultaneously. Let's pause this and I'll back up here in this recording. So you can see in this recording that I captured on this road test, which is about 13,000 frames, at the very beginning while I was still idling the vehicle outside the shop, both accelerator pedals, that are APP2 and APP1, dropped 0.22 volts. Now I don't know what the third accelerator pedal position sensor did because it's not monitored on the scan tool so I can't see it. Um, it would be nice to be able to capture this. now. I don't think that this uh, recorded a freeze frame data, or sorry, recorded a fault code. I'm going to save this anyways. Let's say save it, this recording. And then I'm going to check and see if, if it actually did set a fault or a pending code. Codes, display codes, powertrain codes. No, no current codes. Let's see if there's any pending codes. Failed this ignition. No. So, both of them dropping to 0 0.22 volts uh, is very suspicious of uh, uh, a supply power or ground problem to that TAC module because what are the chances that both accelerator pedal signals would drop simultaneously? I'll show you what the circuit looked like. So there's the throttle body assembly and it contains TPS1 and TPS2 but the actual accelerator pedal contains APP1, APP2 and APP3. Let's go full screen here. Oh. Anyways there it is there. And as I mentioned, the data list only shows APP1 and 2, so it would be really nice to, to graph these three signals simultaneously, as well as one of the 5 volt power supplies, because we only got four channels to work with here, and, and see if it's, it's dropping out because of, uh, you know, all three of them simultaneously dropping out would point towards the throttle actuator control. The that's not a common failure according to the case histories on Identifix. The accelerator pedal is much more common. Um, I hate like hell throwing parts at this thing. This one's got the uh, uh, adjustable pedals, so the accelerator pedal on this one's over $250, so that's an expensive guess. I don't know what the accelerator pedal or the uh, th throttle actuator control module is worth. And again, 
it's got to be specific to 2003 because I think this was the first year for drive-by-wire throttle on this vehicle. And next year they went to uh, accelerated pedal with only two potentiometers in it, which I believe they still use today, except on the Duramaxes. So we're going to set up a four-channel lab scope, maybe graph the, the power into this into this thing. You know, there's the fuse that feeds power to it. I pulled that fuse and looked at it. If I remove that fuse with the key on or engine running, both accelerator pedal values drop to zero. So I've done a visual inspection of this wiring from the fuse block to the uh, throttle actuator control, but I didn't do it very, you know, detailed. I didn't follow the wire completely. I just wiggled the harness and wiggled the wires and pulled the fuse panel cover off and wiggled the wires going into it. And also this ground. If that ground goes bad then the, everything is compromised. That G104 is behind the left cylinder head. I went back there with my hand and I, I found the ground and I wiggled and manipulated it while, while the uh, uh, accelerator pedal values were being graphed and, and they never changed a bit. So I'm at quite a conundrum here. I don't want to just throw a part at, but I'd really like to capture it. I just drove it 35 kilometers and it never missed a beat. So I've got the four channel graphing multimeter hooked up to all three accelerator pedal signals and one of the five volt references. So the blue trace is on APP2 the green trace is on APP3 which incidentally you can't see in the data list and the red trace is on APP1 now looking at them here I see some discrepancies here for one thing the blue trace which is APP2 has some electrical noise in it the green trace if you look here the second one from the top here is sitting at 5.11 volts and I made sure I'm right on the correct pin I'm on pin K right here and pin K H I J K on the bottom is APP3 3 signal and it's sitting at 5 volts and it does not change it's like fixed at 5.11 volts the only two that change are the red and blue traces and the red trace right now is sitting at 0.69 and we'll have a look at what the actual value is on the scan tool I had the scanner running and then I went to APP1 and APP2 are both sitting at 0.61 volts but let's bring the meter up here and look at it again where'd my meter go let's minimize this now I'll get it back here in a sec so here I've got the the live multimeter reading showing all four circuits at the accelerator pedal and then APP1 and APP2 in the data list which are flat line perfect at 0.61 volts each. I'm going to shut the key off, turn it back on and use my foot to accelerate. You can see there is a rise in the blue trace there. Come that voltage isn't changing in the background. Hmm. Okay, I had to reset the graphs because for some reason we had lost the graph. So there's wide open throttle, or as far as I can push it with the floor mat under the gas pedal. One goes to 1.69 volts, the other goes to 1.71 volts. And on the multimeter here, it's 1.53 and 1.74. But you'll notice that. Uh, that green trace in there, or not green trace, the blue trace in there is pretty noisy and the green trace which is supposed to be APP3 is sitting at a constant 5 volts which I'm going to read the theory of operation of this thing in a minute I don't think that's normal. I do have a graphing multimeter hooked up to the actual 
power and ground to the throttle body control module under the hood. I'll look at that in a sec. So there's the throttle actuator control module right beside the brake booster. And I've got a couple of piercing probes. Yeah, I know that's not the right thing to do, but I will seal up the wires when I'm done. And they're in a spot where they could be easily repaired in the future. And looking at the ground and the green trays, it's sitting at 0 0.03. And power supply to the module is 13.65. So it's not a power and ground problem for the module. I'm starting to lean towards a faulty accelerator pedal. So here we're looking at uh, the accelerator pedal on this truck again. There is APP1, APP2, APP3, but now I see APP3 is not used. You know, here's, here lies the problem. If you have sometimes previous knowledge of other systems that same, the, the same manufacturer use, you can sometimes get thrown off. If you looked at the accelerator pedal on a Duramax, it has three position sensors in it for redundancy and all three of them are used. The other thing that screwed me up here is if we go back into guided component tests here, here is Snap-on's guided component test. It says APP1 voltage should increase from, one, from below 1.1 volt to about 2.1 volts. APP2 voltage should decrease from above 3.9 volts to zero, and it doesn't work that way. Um, it's a positive slope as well, and here it says APP3 voltage should decrease from 3.2 volts pedal travel to below 3.1 volt, and of course, we now know that it is not even used. Uh, so, the bottom line is, I'm going to set this up again and I'm going to record just APP 1 and 2 with the lab scope or the graphing multimeter and the live data at the same time. And you can see there's a dropout in APP 2 and I think that's what's causing the, the problem. It does not show up in the data stream, so that'll be a good, a good example. So here I've got the Varus set up to split screen. The top half of the screen here is the data recording showing APP1 and APP2. And then the bottom screen is the actual three channel graphing multimeter. So if I step on the gas pedal now, you'll see a rise in both APP1 and APP2. APP1 is the red trace and APP2 is the blue trace. The yellow trace Above them both is a 5 volt reference to one of the other sensors. I can't remember which one. Now, APP2 is over here. Sorry. Right there. And there's no dropout or glitch in that. You know, I was starting to... I, I kind of thought this blue circuit here with the dropouts in it was a diagnostic glitch like some of the Chrysler foot pedals have. But I'm sure that that shouldn't be there. So we're going to get another sensor. I have found that it is available just as a sensor, not as an entire pedal, and it's only around 55, 60 bucks. So I've already ordered it. Once I put it in, I'm going to do this again just for my own curiosity. But I think we figured out that this accelerator pedal is failing, and that was the most common failure on Identifix. Boy, that almost looks like a digital signal. I wonder if I should check the 5 volt reference to that APP2. Make sure that it, that's clean and steady. I can't remember which 5 volt reference I've actually teed into here at the pedal, but I'm going to check the 5 volt reference to make sure it's not breaking down, because if it were, that would account for that signal. Well, thank goodness I checked that. Now I don't know what to believe. The 5 volt reference on the green trace is actually dropping out just the same. Let's change the time base here. Two seconds. The dropouts are, are in the 5-volt reference as well. 
So is that a tack module failing or is it actually the throttle position sensor down? Oh well. I'm sure the throttle position sensor is cheaper than the tack module. At least it's not 270 bucks like I was going to change the whole pedal. But it doesn't make sense that that 5 volt reference would be dropping out like that. To me, that's a, a faulty, faulty tack module, unless it's supposed to be like that. But it doesn't seem like a diagnostic glitch. Let's try it at 20 seconds. It's definitely random. It's not. It's not like a diagnostic glitch like you get in some Chrysler foot pedals. To me, that's random. Hmm. And I don't have another vehicle to compare it to, so we're going to obviously have to throw a part on it and see what happens, but I'm starting to lean towards the tack module breaking down rather than... I wonder if we could switch the 5 volt reference from the other pedal that's not used and see what happens. Hmm, that's an interesting thought. So I moved the green trace to the APP number 3 unused 5 volt reference and it's a nice clean fixed solid line. So considering it's not used, I wonder if we could just switch that with the reference from APP2. They are on A and B. A on the right hand side is the 5 volt reference for APP3 which apparently is not used and B right next to it in the middle is the 5 volt reference for APP2 that is has the glitch. Well for what it would take to de-pin and move those two pins I'm going to give it a try. So there is the connector for the accelerator pedal disconnected. I've taken the secondary clip out. So the gray wire is a 5 volt reference for APP3 and the purple wire is a 5 volt reference for APP2 and it has a dropout. So I'm going to switch those two in this connector just to see if that cleans up the accelerator pedal voltage and if it'll work like that. I can't see why it wouldn't considering it's not supposed to be using APP3. So we'll see what happens. Well, that did not work at all. Uh, I got a message on the dash that said reduced engine power. I'm not 100% certain why that didn't work. Maybe somebody could uh, come up with a salute or a suggestion as to why it didn't work. I, I see both sensors read zero on the scan tool with the APP disconnected completely. So I would have thought switching that 5 volt reference to a new 5 volt reference would have made no difference, but. It obviously does, so I'm leaning towards a, an actual an actual uh, tack module. I wonder what that 5 volt reference is doing now when it's in the other pin. Well, that particular 5 volt reference is clean with the pedal disconnected, so I'm going to go with replacing the sensor to start with because it's the cheaper of the two items. And uh, I, I'm supposing, I'm opposing, it's possible that that uh, accelerator pedal potentiometer is shorting out and pulling the 5 volt reference down when it is actually doing that. But without changing a part, I got no way to know for sure. So I'll post a second video once the part's installed and I do this again.